The bridge to Tyndall Air Force Base is getting a makeover. Almost $200 million is being put into the large-scale project to build a brand new bridge from the ground up. News 13's Jenna Maddox explains why local leaders say a new structure is a must. The well-known bridge that connects Tyndall Air Force Base and the city of Parker is scheduled to be replaced. The DuPont Bridge, which crosses over the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway, was originally constructed in the 1920s. Uh, that is a bridge that has to be replaced, so you're going to see a significant amount of money uh, being set aside. The DuPont Bridge is coming to the end of its lifespan, according to Florida Department of Transportation Director of Public Information Ian Satter. The bridge is, is safe, it's structurally sound, however, when you look at the cost-benefit analysis of replacing the bridge versus maintaining the bridge, it's a better investment to replace that bridge. And with new design standards and construction techniques, you have a bridge, once constructed, that'll last 75 to 100 years. With the new design standards comes a more modern, practical bridge for the area, says Bay County Chief Infrastructure Officer Keith Bryant. The design's being completed. It will go to construction in four years. It's a bigger bridge. It's going to be a little bit higher. It's going to have proper sidewalks, bike lanes, uh, which is nice for the, for the airmen who are on base who want to utilize, maybe go to under, under the Oaks Park or something. Do I have good connectivity? Officials say DuPont Bridge is in need of an upgrade, but that cost will not come cheap. The, the cost for the DuPont Bridge to design and construct is roughly $182 million. Satter says the money will come from state funds specifically for bridge construction. Brian also says the construction for the new bridge is scheduled to begin in 2025. In Bay County, Genematics News 13, Panhandle Strong.